Hi, this is Tim from Latest 3DS Games, and uh, I'm here with an unboxing and gameplay video. Now, I should be unboxing um, Paper Mario Sticker Star, but unfortunately, my copy didn't arrive in the post, so um, never mind. I uh, picked this game up um, today anyway. It came out about a couple of weeks, a week ago or so, maybe two weeks, and um, I was going to get it the other week, but um, I thought, no, I'll leave it. I've had spent enough money on games and things but as Paper Mario didn't arrive today I picked this one up and thought I'd have a bash on this one so it's obviously based on the uh, movie which is supposed to be pretty good and um, they're not always the greatest games based on movies but it looks fun enough as you team up with legendary guardians and um, it's gonna follow the storyline which I don't really know much about and uh, we've got some Nintendo points, and as ever, they're always useful. And uh, I'll be again. I will be um, trading mine in at some point, and uh, I might do a giveaway. We'll see on that one. So um, it looks like again, yeah. There's no real instructions as such. It's just a kind of they've kind of been phased out. So you've just got online instructions. There's the game cartridge. Nothing too exciting about that. And the game itself, we've got a prop arm now, we've just got fold out instructions which is just going to give you the basic controls, world board, game screen in multiple different languages. So there isn't uh, too much in there unfortunately to show you, a bit of advertising and such like the controls are in there. and. Um, just going to have a quick look on the back of the box now. Unlock unique um, abilities and upgrades. Okay, cool. Explore legendary guardian realms. So it's looking all right, and um, I will uh, show you some gameplay now. Okay, so we're going to have a quick look at Rise of the Guardians, and uh, we'll see what it's like. So it's out on a few different formats. And um, the movie's been pretty well received. So I can just press start basically to begin off. I'm just going to look at the start of the game. I'll do a couple of gameplay videos as well, don't worry. Just start a new game, just option to create a new game. Just telling us it's got auto save. We are the guardians, protectors of children's dreams. You can skip past this, by the way. And we've got Bunny Mund and Tooth and Sandy. And that's me, North. Together, we're known as the guardians. Only exist if children believe. To our surprise. Deep in the shadows, a dark figure has emerged named Pitch. Pitch and his army of nightmares plan to destroy belief in the Guardians. So that's the basic premise for the story. Until nothing remains. Okay, so we're going to skip through the rest. And we are going to try and get through to the main bit of the game. And nightmares are everywhere. How are we going to visibly stop them? Man in the moon. Got a new guardian to join us. I think that's going to be. Oh no, that's Jack Frost. Okay, here is Jack Frost. So we're just going to skip on through into the game now, and hopefully we're going to get through as Pitch is taking on the Guardians. Oh, 
Okay, so um, we need to believe in ourselves. So we've got um, down below here. Whoops! I'll show you when it comes back up. When your garden's belief is depleted, they will be silenced. There's our guardians. Okay, and uh, we'll put it back down here again. And uh, I need to uh, tap on that. Okay. Okay. Slide to run and direct the guardian. Okay, I can do that. Press B to perform a magic attack. Oh. Press R and slide to dodge. Okay. Press L to deflect an oncoming attack. Okay. Okay, nice. Oh, this is a bit heavy for um, starting out. Oh, okay, so got these wolves to deal with. Oh, they're surrounded by loads of birds and all sorts of stuff. Okay, nightmares rather. Okay. We can perform combos, although I'm not doing very well at that. Just gonna see if I can swap characters actually. Yeah, you can indeed. Swap characters very easily, so they're not restricted at the beginning. And let's get a bit of magic out on this one. Seems to be an unending supply of uh, nightmares to start with. Goodness me. Okay. And then uh, get to the Guardian Gate. Okay, well I can probably do that. I was going to have a little explore around. Switching guardians at any times. Oh yeah, I, I know that. Okay, so I can just switch between the other guardians. And... There you go, whichever one you want. So I can run. Are we going to run? Are we not going to run? We're gonna walk. Okay. Ah. Oh. Gonna do a bit of whipping as well. Lovely. I thought I was in the guardian gate. No. No. Okay. Oops. And I think I've completed my uh, belief. I'm gonna get my uh, guardian hair out now and wallop everyone with that. So the graphics are pretty basic-ish and uh, I've seen them on other versions and they're certainly a lot more impressive. Obviously this is the 3DS. Oh okay, so I can finally go to that one. Guardian gates to travel to new sections and around the realm. Okay, so we're just gonna quickly do that. Town of Burgess, travel to any garden, okay. So we're gonna do that. And uh, then we get choice below, there we go. So I'm gonna leave it there. And I will show you some more gameplay in another video, don't worry. Just going to load up the next part and we'll leave it there. So it looks pretty okay at the moment. Not too impressed with the graphics at the moment myself, or graphics and sounds a little bit basic. Obviously it's got a bit of the theme music, but um, 
It's um, not the greatest. The little cut pictures are okay. Okay, travel to Burgess by way of a garden. Yeah, we've done that. Oh, can I? I have to go back in here again. Sorry about that. Now the children stop believing, I'll let you all down. Oh, I've let you all down. Okay. So we're just going to load up this bit. Just wanted to show you the next bit. And, as I said, we'll leave it there. Travel to the North Pole by way of a Guardian Gate. Okay. So, um, yeah. Like I said, not super duper impressed at the moment. Um, but it looks like it's going to be fun enough. And obviously, it's nice that you can swap between the characters. Four characters. And the music's not bad, actually. Um, some of the sound effects are a bit basic-y, but... It's not bad, and uh, I'm sure it'll be quite a bit of fun once I get into it. So um, this has been Tim at Latest 3DS Games. Thanks for watching.